Uh, Monday, Zoe. G'day everyone, Struthy here. How the bloody hell are you? Hope you're having an awesome one. Uh, I'm pretty excited today. I get to rock a band who I've actually never heard in their own format. I've heard the, uh, the singer before, but uh, Paul C suggested. Uh, Struthy, I finally found a toe hider clip uh, worthy of a reaction instead of his voice being drowned by other singers on all of the other Arion videos. Have fun with a genuine globetrotting Aussie multi-instrumentalist. Um, Mike Mills is the, uh, the the brain behind Toe Hider. I actually thought it was an actual band <laughs> in, its, in its entirety. It is when they play live, uh, but uh, Toe Hider is just pretty much Mike Mills. Um, so I didn't want to go too much into investigation and all that sort of stuff about uh, everything about him, but I did just quickly check out their um, Facebook page, obviously. But Mike Mills is basically yeah, the genius behind the music of Toe Hider, and then uh, this bloke called Andrew Saltmarsh does all the artwork but um yeah he has a uh, different touring members in uh, Australia and, and in Europe but um his biography is just basically Toe Hider or Australia's most prolific progressive rock act which is a bloody huge <laughs> statement but um the rest of the bios is basically all his accomplishments accomplishments including when he got to uh in 2013 he got to uh travel to Europe and work with Arjen of course and uh uh, I think later that year he actually got to, yeah, they got to rock around in Australia with Devon Townsend and crew, so, yeah, pretty sweet, I'm pretty, uh, uh, pretty excited, like I said, you know, there's an Aussie act who I've only heard him sing a couple of tracks with Arjen, and the most, uh, <laughs> prominent one in my mind is the 01010001, uh, piece that he got given in that big epic number of Arjen, <laughs> so, alrighty, uh, let's do this through things, so this is, uh, the track, Pardon me, Giants Who Walk With Man, and it's live at Pony Music Studios or something like that. But anyway, let's do this. This is Toe Hider for the first time. Three, two, one. What are you looking at so far? <laughs> bit of plant in his voice, doesn't he? In a bit of Aussie, maybe? Definitely inspired. Assuming this lot of session musicians or mates. But yeah, so he obviously plays guitar, probably plays bass, I wonder if he drums. Yeah, I 
Yeah, I agree, mate. Thing is great. <laughs> Wouldn't call this progressive, but it's definitely rock. Oh. Nice. This guitar didn't match the wall. Dude, that was sweet. There you go. Pony music in Melbourne. Rockin' Melbs. Uh, sweet. Paul C. What a great suggestion. You're right. That was definitely worthy of a reaction, mate. Um, holy crap. That was my first listen to Toe Hider in, uh, in Natural Habitat. <laughs> a studio in Melbourne in Australia. So, um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, like I said, you know, I only heard him with Arion before, so you can hear him in his own element and playing guitar as well as singing. Yeah, rockin'. Mike Mills. Shout out to you, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty uh, damn excited to discover the rest of your work. I know you've got uh, lots of stuff on, <laughs> on the website. There's heaps of like EPs or albums are there, so there's plenty of stuff for me to check out of uh, of Mike's and a uh, whole toe hider as a as a project. So if you've got any other suggestions, please let me know. But yeah, um, yeah, hopefully that uh, track. Uh, uh, not too many other people have. Set up the <laughs> probably thousands have already seen it, of course, and probably listened to it. But yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I do appreciate that as a, very much as a suggestion as a Aussie reactor to check out an Aussie band. So yeah, wicked. Um, that track was just straight up rock. Like I said in the description there, they said it was like prolific progressive metal and all that sort of stuff. That was just good old fashioned. Well, it was, uh, had a, had a feel of like seventies rock sort of vibe. Um, yeah, a bit anthemic too. Uh, his voice is obviously got a great register. He can get up to those high notes very very easily, and he's. <laughs> He's done that with binary code before, so we all know that he's got a good range, so... Alrighty, uh, peace out, use rock, use now, it's please, please leave more comments and suggestions for other artists and subscribe if you want to. Uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video. Laters!